I think the important thing is that we have data to one year that's very strong and compelling. Um, and certainly I think patient, uh, a comprehensive assessment of lesions, the ability to assess tandem lesions, for instance, or complex lesions uh, is, is improved with IFR because lesional interdependence is, is removed. And so I think you can then work towards smart PCI rather than whole vessel PCI, which can lead to long stents, inappropriate stents, or actually missing the lesion altogether. And I think that uh, we're at a point with IFI now where we've achieved, achieved some maturity. We've got two very large clinical outcome trials which give physicians confidence uh, to use these studies knowing they're very safe, cost effective and, and friendly for patients. And I think that the important thing is if there are other techniques which come available, uh, that they should go through this same assessment process to ensure that they can be used with the same degree of confidence. Physicians can have peace of mind at night to know that they're making uh, sound decisions. So uh, if we compare IFR against under other indices uh, such as PDPA where well, of course all of the pressure-based indices come from the same traces so you're recording the aortic pressure and the distal pressure so there will all be marked similarities between uh, the, the two but one of the key differences of IFR is it restricts the analysis just to a phase in the cycle where velocity is highest now what this means uh, is that you have the greatest degree of sensitivity uh, to make decision making and perhaps this is most evident if you make a pullback recording where it's very obvious to see uh, when you compare IFR against PDPA, the whole cycle PDPA, the IFR is always much lower. Now this is a massive advantage for interventionists because what it really means is that they have a bigger discrimination along the length of the vessel so you can see bigger differences between diffuse and focal disease. And I agree with Ravi that I think this is where the whole field will move towards. We're moving away from knowing whether an artery is significant or a patient needs treatment to knowing where in an artery we should be treating, if at all, and if we can identify diffuse and focal disease. And I think this is going to be where a lot of interest in clinical trials is going forward. Uh, and it's going to be very, very important for our patients. Uh, we can't just say stenting or medical therapy or bypass surgery. It's going to be much more specific and uh, much more uh, sensitively directed towards what we should be doing.